hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is esther to the new subscribers i welcome you all to the family and to the old one thank you for staying back as you all know i share educative videos on this channel so today i'll be showing you how to make this nigerian snacks which is called chin chin so sit down and enjoy how this was made another interesting part is that this recipe is budget and business friendly so let's get started So for today's recipe, I'll be showing you 500 gram, okay? And also check the description box for the perfect measurements. So put 500 gram of flour in a bowl, that's 4 cups, and also 100 gram of sugar, 50 gram of powdered milk. I use powdered milk, and I've not really tried liquid milk. Then for the baking powder, you use half, half teaspoon of baking powder, okay, for 500 gram and for salt you use half teaspoon please just follow this recipe and it's going to come out well and for the baking uh, for the nutmeg i use one teaspoon you can use more it's just for flavor so one teaspoon is perfect for me so just mix all the dry ingredients together after that go ahead and add your butter or margarine okay then that's 125 gram of margarine don't forget to check the description box okay so just go ahead and mix both the dry ingredients and the butter together to get a crumbling texture as you can see at this point i think i'm done mixing it mixing it i'm satisfied with what i have can you see this is a crumbling texture i'm talking about then after that for this one just add one egg check the description box to get the perfect measurement then go ahead and mix everything together after that then you can just follow the process and add the next ingredient to it after mixing that together go ahead and add your water i don't really have the measurement for the water but once everything comes together you know that the dough is okay and perfect so just go ahead and add the water bit by bit okay don't add too much at a time as you see me do in this video if you notice i didn't add everything at once so just go ahead and mix together and another thing is that you can add milk flavor but at home milk flavor was not available so i decided to go with this vanilla flavor just add any flavor of your choice it's not a must you use vanilla flavor okay just go ahead and mix everything together till it's well combined as you see me do now and another thing i want to say is that don't overwork your dough okay just knead it for a few seconds it's fine as you see me doing this video then at this point i'm done allow the dough to rest for a few minutes it depends on the time you have at hand so after that just go ahead to your work table clean the work surface then dust some flowers just for you to work with the dough easily okay that's the reason for the flour on the table then cut your dough into two it depends on how wide your work surface is my own is not really wide so i had to divide the dough into two roll it out roll it out rather with your rolling pin flatten it it should not be too thick or too flat anyways it depends on your choice but too thick is not really advisable but it should not also be too flat just should be moderate like you see in this video just roll it out and go ahead and cut it to your desired shape or sizes i will advise you get this pizza cutter it makes work very easy but if you have this um chin chin making machine like to cut it just to roll it out and to cut it then it's fine but if you don't you can go ahead with what you have at home you can get this pizza cutter it's very easy to use as you see me doing this video compared to using knife okay so just cut it to your desired shape and that hole as you see me do this is just the shape i want for my chin chin you can want another shape so just do any shape of your choice it's not a must you follow this shape okay so at this point i'm done cutting it it's just to pack them and put them inside tray then go ahead and go and fry it and your chicken is ready 
An interesting part is that this is this recipe is business friendly. I use this thing, I use it for my business and it's also very tasty. People would definitely come back for more. Just try this recipe and let me also know in the comment section. Just come back and tell me if you have tried any of my recipe, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to, to hear that. And if you also have any question, just put it down in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer all your questions, okay? So at this point, this is what I was able to get from four cups of flour. That's 500 grams of flour. So let's go ahead and go and fry. At this point, the oil is very hot. Then after that, just reduce the flame of your gas, okay? And don't forget to check on it at interval. You can't just put the chin chin inside and just walk away. No, you have to stay there, keep your eyes on it, keep flipping it over so that one side won't get done and the other side are not done. So that's why you have to stay with it and your eyes should be on it, as you see me do in this video. So at this point, some people bring it out like this, but I really want mine to be golden brown. So I'm still going to fry it more. But if this is what you want, then you can bring it out at this point. It's also okay. But I like my golden brown. So once it's golden brown, at this point, I'm satisfied with this color. Then I bring it out. So at this point, your chin chin is ready. You can start selling it. You can store it in your house for visitors. For your children take to school as snacks and also yourself you can snack on it it is very easy to make and uh, you can have it handy at home so at this point i'm done frying it what i have to do is just allow it to cool down before putting it in an airtight container allow it to cool down completely then put it in an airtight container and uh, keep it or start selling thank you all for watching don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.